Hey guys, this tutorial, as the title says, is a zoom and pan tool tutorial. And we're gonna be just moving around in our project window over here, where you can see all these graphics, so we can take a better look at things. We're gonna be using the zoom tool to get a closer look, and also zoom out so we can see the whole project. The pan tool we're gonna be using to slide around the project window to hone in on certain details. So pan and zoom are the basic navigation tools in After Effects, if you're not familiar with the uh, terms. They're going to be how you find your way around the visuals of any given project. So, onto the project itself. No external files here. We're just going to be navigating around whatever project we have open. So the first thing to do is, well, where are the pan and zoom tools? And you'll find them up here. See these? So the hand tool, or the pan tool, is the hand. And the zoom tool is a magnifying glass over here. Um, by the way, the shortcut key for both of these. So the hand tool is H, and the zoom tool is Z. And you can also hold down the Z key and keep holding to toggle the active tool to the zoom tool. So like in Photoshop or Af um, Adobe Illustrator, if you're familiar with those. So you can hold down space bar and command control. Basically, instead of clicking on the new tool and having to manually switch back each time like this, you can just hold down Z or H and you can uh, snap back and forth to your previous tool the moment you stop holding it down. You can also zoom in using the period key. So, like this. Oh, there we go. Control, command, uh, plus, minus also works. So I have a PC. I'm going to be hitting control and plus. We're going to see those pixels. If I want to zoom out, I do control or command minus. Or I can also use the comma key on my uh, keyboard. Comma, period. There we go. So like I mentioned, the pan tool shortcut is H, which I'm gonna be hitting right now, H on my keyboard. So, by the way, the error. So pan tool, you click and you drag. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm holding down on my left mouse button with the hand tool, pan tool activated, and that's what's letting me do this. Um, holding shift, Whoa, let's see, pan around even faster. Like I mentioned, pressing and holding H will let you toggle to the hand tool. If you're using a tool like Rotobrush, which we have a tutorial about, it's um, it involves these this set of tools over here. It won't work, but for most things, it, it works pretty well. So, like before, I'm going to use the comma key, and I'm going to hold down H to reset things. So yeah, that's how you pan and zoom around in After Effects. Use these tools to hone in on details and of course just generally navigate around a project window. Sometimes objects are too big to fit in the project window, like I'll show you like my uh, floor graphic over here. Or actually I'm holding on to my uh, whole graphic, like my floor graphic over here is bigger than my window suggests. So if I want to see how far off it goes, I would zoom out to you know see the entirety of this graphic. Like I mentioned, panning and zooming out to see the entirety of the object is helpful. So yeah, this has been Support Designs for Noble Desktop.